Welcome back friends to Top 10 Nerd. I'm your host Johnny Rogers. If you happen to be new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button. That way you stay up to date with all things nerd. Plus, comment down below with what your favorite spy movie is. Oh, and one more thing before we get started. We are excited to announce that Top 10 Nerd has collaborated with Universal Pictures to give fans early access to the new Johnny English Strikes Again Blu-ray DVD and digital release starring Rowan Atkinson. To enter the contest, search for at Top 10 Nerd Official on Instagram. Give us a follow, like the the contest photo and tag two friends that you would want to watch this movie with. That's it, you'll be entered and we will pick five winners Tuesday at 3 p.m. Eastern Time. And once we have our lucky winners, you will receive a DM with further details on claiming your prize. Keep an eye on our Instagram page for future contests like this one. With that, let's get to today's video of the top 10 comic book spies. Number 10, Casanova Quinn. This is an odd spy mission for a hero, but Quinn goes undercover to play a version of himself. Cass is the son of Cornelius Quinn, who was part of an international spy master organization called Empire. When that reality's Casanova is kidnapped by a rival organization called Waste and killed in a parallel universe, Quinn must pose as himself to infiltrate Empire, while at the same time attempting to get the better of that rival organization. He's essentially a super secret agent of space and time. Number nine, John Stone. In issue number 11 of the comic book Planetary, we saw the introduction of spy master extraordinaire John Stone. The introduction takes place when Planetary member Elijah Snow meets up with his old pal John. That conversation turns to Stone and his long career as a super secret agent who seemingly doesn't age. He's very James Bond-esque and was quickly patented after the 70s brought us Nick Fury. Stone is also said to be responsible for creating psychological operations all while living the life of a hard drinking super spy machine. Number 8, Chang Chi. This man is a legend and the only MI6 agent to wear red silk pajamas while in battle. Chang Chi was the star of the beloved Marvel comic book series Master of Kung Fu that in the 70s became one of the best spy stories ever put out by the company. He was an incredible fighter but somehow remained a peaceful soul at heart. The story follows a group of agents who are searching for the hero's father who happens to be an evil Chinese criminal mastermind known as Fu Manchu. Number 7, Spy vs. Spy. You can't do a comic book spy list without including the famous Spy vs. Spy series from Mad Magazine. It was a brilliant long running series about two spies trying to fool each other into very convoluted Wile E. Coyote-esque death traps. Both of them seem to be an even match for each other and since their creation they've been adapted into animations, video games and even commercials. Number 6, Nemesis. No, 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 not that nemesis you're thinking of, Tom Tresser. Tom is a master of disguise and before becoming a government agent, he was a vigilante. He's even teamed up with Batman to take down a group called the Council. He tried on numerous occasions to take down the group in order to avenge his brother's death, but while nearly being killed in his attempts with Batman, he was saved by Amanda Waller and Rick Flagg who recruited Tom for their new group called the Suicide Squad. After leaving the squad, Tom would later take a job at the Department of Metahuman Affairs working with Wonder Woman. Number 5, Bucky Barnes. When Bucky turned out to be a Soviet super agent known as the Winter Soldier, his reappearance created a love for the character and a vast spy story to boot. Gone were the days of just being Captain America's trusty sidekick. As the Winter Soldier, he becomes a brainwashed assassin. He was revived in Moscow by a Russian patrol submarine crew that found his cold preserved body. Scientists then attached a bionic arm and because of amnesia, they could mold him into a lethal weapon. Number 4, Spider Woman. AKA Jessica Drew, she is notably one of the best double agents to exist in comic book history. She also is the only woman to ever pit S.H.I.E.L.D. and HYDRA against one another. She is a detective, a superhero, and belongs as an agent to more secret groups than anyone. Drew has been part of HYDRA, S.H.I.E.L.D., S.W.O.R.D., which is an interplanetary agency keeping the planet safe from intergalactic threats, and even the secret Avengers as part of their covert operations. Their mantra perfectly describes this spy. Run the mission, don't get caught 
and save the world. Number three, Dick Grayson. Grayson surprised fans with his spy abilities when he had to go underground at the end of Forever Evil after the crime syndicate of America released his identity as Robin to the public. Batman even had to fake Grayson's death so that he could infiltrate an international spy organization that was collecting intel on superheroes. He proved to be a very capable spy while doing this even if there was a running joke that his butt gave him away. If only he had skipped leg day. Number two, Black Widow. Unlike many from this list, Natasha actually began her life from the get go as a spy and villainous Russian agent in Iron Man. She mainly would carry out superhero missions for S.H.I.E.L.D. but never seemed to kick her history of espionage. Natasha would continue to execute undercover missions for both S.H.I.E.L.D. and the Secret Avengers. In her early days, she was trained through a torturous black ops program which consisted of brainwashing and physical modifications. Lastly at number one, Nick Fury. Fury is possibly one of the most famous and successful spies in regards to comic books and the only character that can be played by both David Hasselhoff and Samuel L. Jackson. He started his career as a World War II soldier and around the time that James Bond's character began popping off, he was transformed into a charming agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. He then worked his way up the corporate spy ladder to the director of S.H.I.E.L.D. which just made his character even cooler amongst fans and as he kept his spy master ways intact, they loved him even more. The man does it all too, from being a master manipulator in the Ultimates to Queen Elizabeth's intelligence chief in 1602. And that has been the top 10 comic book spies. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, hit that thumbs up button. But if you happen to be new here, make sure you subscribe before you leave. Plus, like I said, don't forget to check out our Instagram page at top 10 nerd official for contests and behind the scenes content. Thanks again to Universal Pictures for sponsoring this video. Also, comment down below with your favorite from our list. Plus, if you want any more videos like this one, just click that playlist on the screen. From top 10 nerd, I'm Johnny Rogers and until next time, take care nerd squad.